Hello! Welcome to the final Game Over Gurkha Man of Super Mario Land 2 and the final Game Over Gurkha Man for 2014. So I'm sorry I didn't quite get through the whole year, but I'm about to move to Canada. I'll be living in Canada by the time this comes out, and um, I <laughs> unfortunately have to sell a bunch of my gear to actually uh, get there. So, um, you know, that's just how it is. Uh, I promise next year that there'll be a bunch of cool new stuff, and already there should be some uh, new series happening. But uh, that, that, that's out of the way. Who's here with us for this grand finale? Fin finale. Of this. Well, I'm here. My name is Adam, and I am still game programmer, and mm. yeah. Hi everybody, it's Jess or Mir. I am a Let's Player and I do voice acting. Can I just say I like how you're flying over this entire level? Yeah, it's good level design. Mmm. Nintendo. I'm not really experiencing the game, Ben. Well, this is my second time mm. through this level, but to get to the secret doorway at the end, you have to fly along the top the whole way basically to get up there. Because there's only one, bu you only get one bubble, and the bubble's at the very start of the level, so... Mm. Yes, that's not the best design, then. No, there's, no, all, these... there's, there's questionable design throughout this game. For this wonderful little secret thing that you're kind of terrible at. Well, that's not the secret. I mean, the secret, that's how you get to a uh, space zone. Mm. Oh, there's a little shooting star in the background. The only zone with music that I like, but it's also got uh, low G, which is nice. And it's the only Mario game I know of that has that. Interestingly enough, in this uh, world, so to say, each stage has its own individual music instead of them all sharing the same song like in the other worlds in this yeah, game. Yeah, I thought that was interesting as well, that they, um, for some reason, they like prioritize the musical compositions for this stage, but not for the others. I yeah, also the like the way one. that rock looks like someone given the finger. <laughs> I did not see that. <laughs> I have a vivid imagination. You'll go back, Adam, and you'll be like, oh shit. Oh, he yeah. was right. Probably, probably. <laughs> a little happy, a little happy set in there. Mm. Ooh, you almost popped your ass. Yeah, I know. I almost died in this really easy game. <laughs> it's it's kind of weird. I guess that's something we could talk about, like, because a lot of people complain about games when they're easy, but does it actually bother anyone here? Like, this game is really easy, but I don't think that inf affects the fun that I have with it at all. It didn't bother me when I first had it, because when I was a kid, I beat this game in, like, one or two days. Yeah. And I still was trying to figure out, you know, how to get the level count all the way up to whatever its max was, and I didn't even know what the max was. So I kept playing and trying to find more secrets, even if there were none. I don't know if I did get them all, though. Yeah, I'm not sure how many secret levels there are. I think there's like two or three. Not all the zones have them, but some of them do. I'm not just talking about uh, secret levels, I'm talking about like secret exits. They also count oh, yeah. your level score. Yeah, I like that sort of stuff. I mean, like, even though the game itself is easy, there is challenge there in like these like mini goals. And this music is the business. Yeah, this is my favorite track in the entire game. Yeah, I think this is the only track I like in the entire game. <laughs> now, the other one was pretty good, the one you just came from. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That, like, slowed down... Whatever, kind of like lullaby-ish sort mm. of, um... <laughs> Remix? Yeah. <laughs> of the, uh... Just say the first that. song that you hear. Yeah, I not do... remix. Remix isn't the word I'm looking for. Mm. But y'all know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I do like the way this game experiments a lot with the jumping mechanics of Mario, which is something that I wish more Mario games would do. Like you've got those levels where you can uh, jump in the sap and <laughs> use that, and it's yeah, kind of, like see, they took a lot of chances. The thing is, though, like with this one, you're like you can just continuously float around, but in the other one, you couldn't. Yeah. That's what Which I mean. Is, That's why I like they have the. Each but you level can't has its own make gimmick. different rules for one. You know what I mean? Like you're in space. You're on a different planet. And they have different gravity, so that way they. You know it's a different planet because the music's different. 
That's well, actually, why every other level a, has well, the same song. Well, uh, you weren't actually on a planet, because I'm pretty sure in the last one you were on the moon, and this yeah. one you're just on a star. <laughs> that star has a really solid ground. <laughs> and here comes the only returning boss from the original Super Mario Land. Although you'd never know by looking at him. I didn't know back then, but apparently it is the same one. Yeah, I looked it up. It is. I forget his name. <laughs> It's a lot easier too, you just gotta jump on the guy. Yeah. In fact, all the bosses are very easy in this game, you just gotta jump on them. And while they're... Mm -hmm. While they're, uh... Stuck in their I'm hurt state, you can get ready to jump on jump them on and get by the It's the lo It's the lure you into a false sense of security, to make you think the game's easy before chucking you into the last level. Oh yeah, this level is hard. Yeah. Chug, 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 chug. Nice sprite work there on the. Uh, I like that Goomba's face. I'm pretty sure I said that. Yeah, before. the Goomba's face. That, that Goomba. I love that animation on the water. It looks fucking oh, trippy really ass. Detailed. Yeah. I quite like the art in this game. I think it's quite nice. I, I would really. I kind of wish they made a um, DX version. Is that something you know how to do with your uh, ROM hacking, Adam? Like, can you go back to old games and recolor them? And still haven't run uh, on Game Boy emulators? Yeah, there's a way to color uh, original Game Boy games into Game Boy Color. Because I've, se I've seen some dodgy ones done with, um, like, the emulator, like, approximates and stuff, but it looks awful. <laughs> I tried doing that with Pokemon Red once. Yeah. Game Boy Color, I didn't quite get to finishing it up, so yeah, I do have experience with that kind of stuff. We should totally start making some, uh, I would love to recolor this game. Maybe it's already done. I looked into it, I couldn't find one anywhere. Well, I know that Super Mario Land 1 has one. Yeah, I saw, well, it wasn't very impressive. It wasn't very impressive. Well, it's hard, it. it's hard because you got all these grayscales, and you can use your imagination to you know, visualize that there can be any kind of color you want, but yeah. if you really apply color to them, then you're bound to the Game Boy's limitations, so you have to change some things. Yeah, I was going to say, because yeah, it's not as simple as just taking the sprites into Photoshop and then taking them back into the... Uh, yeah, Ooh. Game Boy doesn't really get along with Photoshop. Yeah, some strange reason. Uh-huh, sure. Is there an actual, pro like, <laughs> a specific program that you have to use to recolor them then when you were doing them? I was just, uh, I was just using assembly to recolor everything. I mean, okay. that's pretty much what you gotta do, recode the game so it shows color. That's whack. Well, it'd be it'd, easy just it'd to have to get it. done, I mean, you're out the, this game was made before Game of Color, so you have to yeah. add on those features yourself. Well, this game wasn't even Super Game Boy, uh, compatible. Well, I mean, it was compatible, but it didn't have, like, a Super Game Boy color palette or anything. And no border as well? Yeah, no border. Yeah, I, li I like those. Yeah, they all, yeah, they work better on some games. I tried playing Donkey Kong Land with the uh, Super Game Boy. Okay, that's not a good idea. <laughs> I, I couldn't tell what the fuck I was looking at. Like, generally. Uh, it, the problem is, with that game, if you have it on your TV, it's detailed, but it's, like, so detailed, you can't really tell what's what. Yeah, Does it's de sense? detailed with four shades of grey. It's like, what? The, the third one suffered from that in a couple of levels, but for the most part, for the second and third games, they toned down the background fidelity, so you could actually yeah. see what the fuck you were actually, looking at. in Japan, the third uh, Donkey Kong Land was actually colorized. What? Yes. Look it up. I'm gonna look that up. I'm gonna find that wrong. Yeah. I remember playing the Game Boy Color version of Donkey Kong Country. Yeah, that was actually pretty well done. Yeah. For Game Boy Color. It felt, it felt like a Donkey Kong Country game. It okay, looked so like you have one orb, or whatever, you, orb with mustache and eyes and eyebrows and whatever. Then you got a room with two. Then you got another room with two. It should be three. Yeah, I, I'm guessing that there were limitations there. Like maybe the frame rate dropped or something and they took it out. But oh, then they didn't uh, take out the room. Yeah, I would have just taken out the room if that was the case. Because otherwise... Mm. I don't know, I'm the only one who really cares. No, I, I think that, that, <laughs> that makes is... sense as game design. Jess, do you want to talk <laughs> about Wario here and how handsome he is? He's fucking huge! What the hell? <laughs> Wario's not- I mean, Wario's big. Well, he's big, not now, he not... used to be this big. 
You lost later. You know, I don't think this is his first appearance. Yeah. It's the prototype design. I still think well, it's the Well, I mean, even, design. like, if you think about, um, like, WarioWare, as weird as that sounds, is kind of, like, a good scale as to how large Wario actually is, because in WarioWare, for those of you who've never played it, where the fuck have you been? WarioWare uh, twisted on the Game Boy Advance. Get on it. No, WarioWare <laughs> on the Wii. Oh. <laughs> um, he, at one point, he's like, in, in one of the cutscenes, he's like riding a motorcycle, and he just it, it 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 just looks like a little pocket bike. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think Wario shrunk over time. But well, no, like he's so fat and so big that he makes this motorcycle look like a pocket bike. Is what I'm getting. Okay, at. so yeah. uh, why do they give you a mushroom, then a carrot, and then another mushroom? It should be the flower there. I because they because he has the flower. Right? Yeah, but you got a carrot when he got a carrot. Yeah. Shouldn't you get uh, flour? They're just oh. douchebags. Oh! Uh, uh. <laughs> um, That's a really long transformation. It's a big baby. That is terrifying. What happened to his mustache? I love the fact he sticks his tongue out and just runs out sideways like a fucking crab. And he just jumps off the castle. Yeah, he just jumps out. Mario just jumps off the edge. His life's no longer worth living. And he what somehow... He turned into, like, a fucking house elf. <laughs> <laughs> Wario is a free elf. <laughs> Master Mario has presented Wario with a sock. <laughs> oh, there we go. Mario's castle. We never went back there. That's the end. <laughs> That's a fun game. I like these quick, easy Game Boy games. It's it infinitely replayable. Oh, uh, thank you, Mario. Quest is over. Back to the first Mario when you rescue Princess Toadstool. Yeah. Mm. But wait, who is thanking Mario? Mario is thanking himself for saving his own castle. That's, yeah, he wasn't really like, nobody was really like, hey, can you come help us? Yeah, Mario's just like, what? He just got home. He was from... just trying to help himself for a change. Yeah, like, it literally, the game's like, he gets back from, I forget the name of the crazy place he's in in Super Mario Land, and he comes back home to Mario Land and is like, what the fuck's going on here? Who's this Wario fat ass in my castle? <laughs> and so he just goes on, a, it's basically a game of selfish, uh, so Mario's selfish quest. It's no wonder Peach gets kidnapped all the time, Jesus Christ. <sighs> Everyone's selfish in the Mario universe. Mmm. Not oh, Luigi. Yeah, except Luigi. I'd like to see another game set in Super Mario Land. I wish Nintendo would go back to because all the all their part, all their handheld games back then. I mean, like especially like the Wario Land games, the first Mario Lands. They're all like really experimental compared to the um, the console ones, and I wish they'd go back to that because now they're kind of like homogenized across both, and I feel like Nintendo aren't experimenting with Mario. Oh yeah, they fell into a nice uh, nice place for Mario and. They don't want to risk them uh, going to other places, I guess. Yeah, because I mean, Zelda's like that too. I mean, remember, like, all the Zelda, like, Link's Awakening, the Oracle games, um, Phantom Hourglass, like, they didn't take place in Hyrule, and that's what made them interesting. And then the only console game that doesn't play, take place in Hyrule is Majora's Mask. Yeah. Well, you know, God forbid they anybody steps outside what they're comfortable or what people, they're making money off of, right? People won't buy it because they won't know it's Zelda if it's not set in Hyrule. Mm. Oh no. Oh no! I'd like to oh, make just small no. platformers like this. I like just fun, easy, pick up and play platformers for some reason. Mm hmm. Why? That enemy killed me. Why didn't you warn me? This game's too hard. Uh, this game's so hard. <laughs> I don't know. I'd like to try to make a game like this. Maybe I will using a uh, stencil after I'm done with Gokumen Legends. I'll try to make a simple okay. Game Boy looking uh, old school platformer. Because everyone's making those new, like, all those platformers that are coming out now, like Super Meat Boy, and they're all quick and. Hup, dup, 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 little trial and error. I just want to be able to sit back and relax and just jump on some shit. Enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's it. And that's it for the year. As I said, by this time, the, um, the Let's Drown outs that me and Jess will be doing should be happening. And uh, I guess just a little note for next year. 
Game Over Gurkha Man will be returning. The first game we'll be doing will be Super Mario Galaxy. Starting oh, it off boy. with yeah, starting it off with <laughs> something good instead of Duke Nukem like like we did this year. And uh, I will also be doing more live stuff in the pickle jar, either on my own or with Jess. Will be happening when we can find the time. And uh, also, uh -huh. also they'll start being uh, reviews on my visitors from Dreams channel because I don't want those getting flooded by the let's play stuff. So uh, thank you, Adam. Thank you, Jess. Thank you, audience who have stuck around all this time. And um, you know, see you next year.